Oh, guys, today is a very sad day because it looks as though the Enter company, NFT Art Finance, is no more. It hasn't yet been confirmed, but I'm doing this emergency video to update you guys. So basically, if I go onto some of these platforms that we know well, and I've been reporting on Enter Art, NFT Art Finance for about three years now. But if we have a look on NFT Art Finance website, it is down. It says that it was registered at Porkbun, um, but the owner has not put up a site yet. So that illustrates to me that the domain is still available. Sorry, owned, but the website is actually down. So that's their main NFT dash art finance website, which is very unfortunate. Then we have the others. So all of the Enter websites that I've been looking into. We have Enter.audio, connection timed out. Let me just refresh that. Yeah, this has been down for two days. Enter.art, same error message. Exactly the same. Enter.market, again, exactly the same issue. So I have been looking into this. Now, enter.blog was where I always got the latest information from to be able to, you know, inform you guys. That's down. So it's not looking very good. Now, if I have a look at their X, you know, they've got 94 plus thousand followers and there's been no announcement as of yet. And it's been down for two days. Just going to have a very quick look on here. I think it's not going to be on here at all. Agree to join. I don't know why I wasn't part of this before, actually. But yeah, nothing on here about that. What else have I got? If I have a look at when I started this channel. I started this channel three years ago. And I've done 74 videos on this project. So I am absolutely gutted that it is, it, do, it does appear that it is no more. It hasn't been confirmed. You know, from the start of the first CEO that came on board to the NFT art finance project as a token, to then the enter.art platform, to then the enter.audio platform, to then the enter.market platform, it's just a sad day for me. They even tried to get an Enterverse, their own Enterverse up and running. And I was actually part of that. And it didn't end up fruition, coming to fruition, which was such a shame. Um, I reported on it in 2023 because they had entered up market. They had some big projects, Project Symbiosis, I reported on. And then it all went quiet. So as of the last year, it went extremely quiet. And every so often I'd do a video and on, say, AI or another NFT platform. And the question would always be asked in one of the comments, is NF art, NF, you know, um, NFT art finance dead? So I'd always look into it at that point and find that there wasn't that much information going on. Now I've got nothing to hide. This is 76 million tokens that I have, which is worth $1.37, which I shouldn't laugh. I've never been in it for the money, as you know. Um, but it is such a shame because those those platforms were brilliant. I absolutely love those platforms. What's the community saying? Well, people are reporting as of yesterday that the sites are down. The community needs you. Please tell us why. What is going on? No response as of yet. Um, some people are getting a little frustrated with the circumstance of not having good effective communication, even if it is the end of a project. So some people are not happy about this. Dutch really put it well, actually. He's put, I think we can conclude that Enter is officially dead. Goodbye, 14,000 of investment and 300 NFTs. It was an honour to be part of it. But it makes me somehow mad that there is no CEO that takes responsibility and tells us the true story about failing. And hey, failing and losing is part of life. 
We'll get over it. Hard lessons to learn. And it's just money and time. But people who don't take their responsibility to tell the true story will have their karma at one day. Although I wish that everything will be said and done with full respect for all the individuals, we all witnessed the horrific scenes when the first party member at Leakey did leave the project. And I personally wished that none of the devs and CEO, CEO will experience things like that. But we all deserve the truth. We all deserve a clean story about probably financial problems that got bigger and bigger, which leads us to this moment. So I hope that one day Kim and Emily will stand up for their community, their people and their project, because failing is hard, but not telling the truth is even harder. I wish you people all the best. And, you know, that's Dutchie's opinion. From my point of view, the team were amazing. You know, they engaged with me so much. And they'd always tell me about new stuff in the works and and I kind of knew a year ago that it was looking more dire because all of these employees have to be paid these platforms have server costs domain costs um third party costs it, it is not cheap to have a project like this you can see that this discord community on enter has over 20,000 members that was a huge project and the platforms were amazing. And from my point of view, it was an absolute privilege to report on, on this to the community, on this project, because I really did enjoy it. And I was passionate about this project. That's why I did so many videos on YouTube about this. It is just very, very unfortunate. But it is the way that it is. The NFT market has taken a huge hit. We've been in this band this bear market for a long time now and it just you know somebody reported the other day that nft projects are down like 70 percent in terms of revenue from what they were worth before and it is it is a sad day really because it's not looking good at all so for those of you that did want an update you've got it it's just not amazing news obviously if things change i will let you know um, I haven't reached out to the team, I'll be completely honest, um, because I've only just found out myself, which is why I've decided to do this video. Um, so yeah, if you are interested in, you know, history of this project, then check out the playlist on here on the channel. Fingers crossed that something becomes of this project, that it's not down forever, or, you know, they'll they'll take a new action into something. In fact, interestingly... They did launch a Web3 agency, and that's enterweb3.io, and that is still online, interestingly enough. I was expecting this to be down as well, but obviously the team learned so much in terms of tokenization, um, how to build social media, the marketing that's needed, the development, and obviously they've got a lot of expertise. And this website is still online. But look, guys, this was all of their websites that they launched, all of their platforms. Enter.audio was brilliant from my point of view. So it was a shame that it's uh, it's not looking good. But at the end of the day, they were, they were strong for a good two years. I mean, there you go. You've even got me there as an, as an ambassador. Um, and I put on here that it was fascinating from the beginning. And it was implemented in the right way from the start. The platforms weren't rushed through. And Enter.audio was one of the first dedicated music NFT platforms. So it was really important for me to be a part of Enter as it is a unique project. Um, plus I was featuring it on my YouTube channel anyway. Um, I've never been paid by them. I did it for the passion, for the love of it. And when I was launched on Enter.audio, I managed to sell quite a few albums on there via the token. Obviously, their token's worth next to nothing, but that's not the point, is it? It's about building the community on the project. And I was, and I still am excited about it. It's just very unfortunate that this is the circumstance that we are now faced in. As are quite a few similar projects now that started in Web3. I still think there's a future for Web3 particularly around artists and musicians. You know, Enter the Audio was great because it provided value add. It, it provided um, proof of ownership. 
And I think a lot of people are still trying to work out, you know, how to implement Web3 in this space. So there you go, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. It is it is very sad that this is all down now. Um, but as I say, this one is still up. So yeah, check it out if you're interested. Let me know what you think in the comments. As I say, if I do hear anything, I'll, I'll put a note on the comments. And I'll speak to you on the next one. Take care. Bye.